What's going on everybody? Chad here with Gold Pay. Just want to go over a few things of video that I made in 2000 and late 2015 about a potential stock market crash in the fall of 2015-2016. Real quickly, the um, the basic conclusion was is that the Federal Reserve could not raise rates and it would cause a crash. Well, the Federal Reserve did did raise rates and it actually caused a crash. So I was technically right. But then what happened was is the in short the Federal Federal Reserve um, postponed raising rates and it actually created a, an even larger stock bubble and real estate bubble and bond bubble and bubble 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 bubble. bubble. So basically what happened was is the Federal Reserve postponed all this because they were crying about the stock market crashing in January, I believe it was, in 2016. And like literally the stock market was down for like a month and they, they gave in. It's pr pretty crazy how quickly the Federal Reserve changes their minds. So ultimately what happened was is the stock market... Um, began to rise again and they were behind the curve and they barely have risen they barely have raised rates um, from zero percent to two percent over I mean it's it's been ten years since it was zero percent interest and you know a couple more years it took them to get you know to the to the two percent handle now there's a lot of debt build up in the system because of that and so every time they've they started to raise rates, you know, it hasn't been an issue yet, but it's kind of like that thing where, you know, people can accumulate as much debt as they want. Um, you know, they, you have friends that accumulate tons of debt and you're like, what the hell are they doing? You know, like where are they getting all this money from? And they're kind of living the dream, living large. And then all of a sudden their payments are due and the truth comes out. That's kind of the way our system is right now. Just like in all the markets, there's just that friend that has way too much debt, but to live in large and no one knows how he's getting the money, but he's just not even care, caring about it. And all of a sudden it just blows up in his face. That's where we're at right now. And I believe that we're getting closer to that point. You know, how, how much more can the Federal Reserve raise rates and dump assets into the market until it becomes a problem? Well, this October, we got some indication of that. We've had bond markets are crashing, stock markets crashing, real, starts, real estate starting to top, um, commodities are falling again. There's so many markets that are just sort of switching places. Emerging, emerging markets are falling. Right now, I think what's going to happen is the the markets are sort of going to go into a pause and wait for that December meeting for the Federal Reserve to see what they're going to do in 2019. With that, I think the market's actually oversold right now, so it may go down a little bit more, but I think it's going to pause and actually rise. And within that, the bond market's oversold, so it's probably interest rates are probably going to be lowered by the markets, not by the Fed. And who knows? Let's look at see what the Fed says at the December meeting because they may be looking into a bounce saying, oh, everything's fine, and then they might raise rates again. And if they do raise rates, even if they don't, it's going to be an issue. But if they do raise rates, you can believe that um, the rest of 2019 is going to be an issue. I think it's going to be an issue no matter what, but we'll see what the Fed can do if they reverse course and try to stave off the market um, from falling now i just want to go over a few charts in a minute but i want to talk about an opportunity of you know if you believe all this um basic math basically that you know the interest on the payments of the debt is impossible to pay off we printed way too much money for way too long um everything's in a bubble stock markets in a bubble debts in a bubble car loan market is in a bubble student debt markets in a bubble housing's in a bubble bonds are in a bubble stocks are in a bubble the only thing that's really not in a bubble is commodities and gold maybe a few other things now the reason why i chose to start a gold buying business and you can do this too is that what i actually do is a pretty unique business it's not like a gold buying shop where you have to sit there and wait for a gold customer to come in and you're just wasting your time paying rent and all this what i have developed is 
sort of a virtual gold mining business where I um, use a lot of tools on the internet to search out my customers and they set up an appointment with me and they come and meet me in a private office downtown Minneapolis or basically this can be done anywhere in a fairly large city in the United States or in the world for that matter. They come in and they set up an appointment. It's a 30 minute appointment. And within that, I can, within that 30 minutes, I can appraise their gold, give them a payout. They're happy. They give, they get an amazing payout because I don't, all my overhead is reduced dramatically because of the, the platform that I'm using. And, um, the nice thing about it is I, you know, anyone can do this if they have a job or, you know, if they want to just do this as a side business or if they're semi-retired, um, you set your own schedule. So like, if you don't want to buy gold this week, you just block your schedule. If you want to buy gold and the gold price is going down and you think it's going to go up in a few weeks, you, you know, you, you bombard these people with, um, search volume that they can find you for, um, to find your calendar. And, um, it's really a simple process and, you know, if you click the link in this video, it's going to give you the guidelines on how you can set up your own virtual gold buying business. And the nice thing about it too, is you're buying below spot and you're, you're selling it for, you know, two to three times above spot when it's jewelry and a decent percentage above spot when it is coins. If you want to also invest, you you know, you can accumulate a ton of coins at below spot. So it's super nice and you can write off your expenses. So all your um, traveling expenses, all this, uh, you know, you can write it all off. So it's just, it, if you believe in gold, if you believe gold is going to respond to the coming events, this is the best way to do it in my opinion. You know, the GLD is a bunch of garbage on the stock exchange. It's just fake fool's gold manipulated, um, all that, you know, owning physical gold is great, but you know, you pay above spot. And if you're storing it somewhere, you have to pay storage fees. And so when you're doing it the way I've been doing it, you're actually buying the gold below spot. So you're guaranteed a profit before you, you get it in your hand, which is just, it makes you sleep a lot better at night, put it that way. And it gives you a great opportunity because once this bull market gets started in gold and the, and the uptrend starts moving up, you know, you're going to be, your, your um, profits are just going to increase exponentially because of, you're going to be riding a wave. You're going to be buying it below spot. And then, you know, it's when these big moves happen, you're going to be, you know, it's going to be flying up. And even if you buy it on the wrong side of the, the move, you know, the, the bull market is going to bail you out too. So you're buying a below spot, which is minimizing risk, you know, you're minimizing a ton of risk there. And then if the, the price goes against you, you know, you're still basically break even. Um, it's not like that when you're buying physical gold. It's not like that when you're buying gold on the, the stock exchange either. Um, so click the link and I got a guideline that you can follow that you can, you know, you can test this market for free. You can actually test your own business um, with the tools that I've provided. There's a lot of free trials or there's a lot of unique things that you can do to take advantage of this. Now I want to get into the charts.